Hello everyone, today I'll be doing my makeup. So I'm going to start with this um, lotion, just really oil my face up so I can you know, get a good, you know, uh, good makeup day, you know. Now I'm putting this blue um, liquid on my face. I think it's more lotion, because my skin's really dry today. Just rub it in, all the creases, all the pores, get every inch. Now I'm putting on... Um, face paint. I believe it's concealer. Yeah. Put on the mustache, the unibrow. Get it everywhere. Dab it all in with the orange ball. Get every inch, every crease. Especially around the eyes, because, you know, I've been so tired lately. You can really see my bags. So, really had the unibrow. It was very prominent on this day, so I had to hide it. Now I'm taking, um, this blue, or brown liquid. Um, also known as foundation. Uh, just really spreading around because you know a good foundation is the key to everything. If you don't have a good foundation, your house is gonna fall down. But yeah, put the foundation on every inch, especially under the chin. Now for the forehead, gonna you know get the right amount and dab it all over my forehead. Little little extra on the cheeks. I had a little extra. Dab it, dab it, dab it. Orange ball comes in handy. And yeah, just get it everywhere. All down the cheeks, forehead, mustache, eyebrows, all over. Alright, moving on. Now, to some Vaseline. My lips are dry. <laughs> so yeah, can't have that. <clears throat> now for this powdery looking stuff. Um, I believe it's just called powder. I don't know. But, yeah, put it all over the same places of the foundation, the, the cheeks, the uh, the eyebrows, the forehead. Now, for some fit stuff, more powder. Uh, I think it's just all really just to set the foundation in. Just really uh, capture it all over the face. Now, for some stuff on the eyelids. Oh, my eyelids were dry. That's what that was. They were uh, just for getting them ready for the uh, eyeshadow I'm going to put on. Now for this another powder. Uh, this is a base, a, kind of like a foundation for your eyeshadow. Just really just get them ready for the hell that's about to come. Oh, time for naked. Ugh. Now I'm picking this brown one. taking a little brush and applying it very aggressively towards my eyelid. If you're not poking your eye out, you're not doing it correctly. You really just want to drive the brush into your face until your eye falls out. Now for a little sparkly one, because we're doing two today. Now this one, you really want to get close to your eye. The more powder that gets in your eye, the better. So really just take the brush and drive it right through your eye and aggressively scrape your eyelid as well. Now, for uh, just dust off the end under the eye because I was looking a little dusty, picked a hair. Now for the eyebrows. This is the real trick. Now I'm taking a pencil or uh, a color because I didn't like the... Uh, natural color of my eyebrows, so I'm putting more on. Really making a definite line underneath and filling in the rest of them. You want a good, solid curve to them. You don't want them to be too straight, too, um, too bendy. You just want them, you know, just right. So now you take a spoolie, or a brush, or whatever you want to call it, and, uh, just kind of spread the, uh, spread the color out. Oh, I just did the second one magically. I'm a fucking wizard. Okay, now this method is uh, also from China. It was used to torture little orphans, but I use it to curl my eyelashes. Do one, and the second one as well. Just really squeeze the eye until it falls out. Now I'm going to take this um, little plastic tube and take this eyelash stuff and spread it all over my eyelashes so that they become like three times as long somehow. Be careful, because if you really mess up on this, 
You're going to fuck everything up and just stab your eye. So be very careful. Get tops and bottoms. It's key that you have to get the top eyelashes and the bottom eyelashes. You can't just do one or the other. Now, time for a Q-tip and clean up all my messes because I'm an idiot. We just I messed everything up, so you really have to be careful with the Q-tip because you also go poke your eye out with that as well. Now I'm taking this pink stuff and this little brush and just really um, making my face look red. So it's blush. Now I'm taking this sparkly stuff um, and the other sparkly stuff. And I'm going to just highlight my prominent areas with this highlighter. I'm looking for something. So take it and just rub it under the eye and make like a fish-like face as you do it. Just really tighten the face up as you spread the highlighter. Do it on your nose, on your lips, just like your, your prominent areas. But don't forget the second eye. You can't just do one. You have to do both. So this really just makes your the sides of your face, the, the prominent areas, just sparkle and glow. So you, you've got to highlight the port, important areas. Now, next, I'm going to eat a napkin. I was a little hungry. No, I'm just drying off my lips. Sorry. Time for earrings. I went with the uh, double hoop sparkly set. Um, I thought it really went well with my curly hair um, and the eyeshadow I was wearing. So just a good little... You know, mix and match there. Time for some lipstick. Um, you know, just really get it all over your lips. You want your lips to be a completely different color than they originally are. You want them to be um, just ridiculously different. Now, for the finished product. Little head turn. Yeah, I'm the shit. Little slow mo. Ooh, the hair toss. Ooh. Quick little cheeky smile, and that's it. Alright everyone, that was the My Boyfriend Does My Voice Over video, and that makeup look you saw was just, you know, a date night look. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Joe, Hi. the speaker of the video, and I'm Maria. The real artist. You're the real artist? Yeah. Okay. Okay, bye.